this is going to be how to boost leak test your turbocharged car this is my compressor I recommend having a compressor always at your side when you anytime you purchase a turbocharged car This is how much pressure I have in there right now. And this little nozzle releases pressure. You can adjust how whatever PSI you want. Let's say I want, I don't know, let's do 70. Make sure you have Teflon tape and everything all ready. This is the gauge that I'm using. Take off your front bumper if that's where you think the leak is. Or you can use this little guy, it's up to you. Don't forget about the Teflon tape. Take off your intake, air box, whatever you have. And you got your boost leak tester, which I got off boostleaktester.com. Remember, if you don't tighten this all the way and you're pushing and you're putting air through this holes, this little cold thing will shoot out at you. Uh, that's already happened to me. Just gotta be make sure this thing is tightened all the way. I recommend this type of tightener. This is a 7 mm. Also, don't forget about your little star key, your hex key, whatever you have available. Get off these bolts. That looks like. Oh, next important tool is this tool right here. As you can see, I've already modified this. Using a T, you can get this at AutoZone or Pet Boys or whatever. T clamp it. The radiator, it's a standard radiator hose. Clamp it up, or you can seal it up right here using a, a just a plug. Or you can use this guy. It's up to you. And of course, we very quiet. Make sure there's no noises around you. And just fill it right up. And plug it in again. Squeeze the lever. Just start filling up with air. As remember, don't forget to put this guy in. And of course, see my video for the boost leak locations. Also, don't forget to take off your gas cap too. Or your oil cap, your oil cap. That way you don't blow up anything else inside of the crankcase. This is your crankcase. If you unplug, if you release this, and then you're putting air in it, nothing's going to happen. You're like, why isn't it building pressure? Well, it's because this thing isn't hasn't been plugged. Pretty much it. it should have released about this much.
up to like ten psi.